Type 4 hypersensitivity reaction is mediated by which of the following cells? For that, we should know the different types of hypersensitivity reactions, some important features about the types. What do you mean by hypersensitivity? It is nothing but an exaggerated or abnormal immune response which is harmful to the host. And there are four different types of hypersensitivity. And this classification is given as per gel and comb. And hypersensitivity is broadly classified based on the rapidity and duration of action into immediate and delay type of hypersensitivity. Immediate hypersensitivity reactions are elicited within seconds to minutes to few hours, whereas delayed hypersensitivity rea reactions take days to be manifested. Now, apart from that, the immediate reactions are manifested by the role of B lymphocytes, which are part of humoral immunity, whereas the delayed hypersensitivity reactions involve the role of T lymphocytes, which form an important component of cell mediated immune system. And out of the four types of hypersensitivity, type 1, type 2 and type 3 comes under immediate type of hypersensitivity whereas type 4 is a delayed hypersensitivity reaction and it is cell mediated. So now our question is about type 4 hypersensitivity reaction and if we look into the options now, option 1 says B cells. So B cells they are components of humoral immunity therefore it is an immediate type of hypersensitivity which could be either type 1, type 2 or type 3 but not type 4. Therefore we can eliminate it and option 2 says active T cells. Yeah, there are two different forms or the terms to describe the T cells. One is naive T cells, another is active T cells. So, naive T cells are the one before antigenic exposure. Active is once the body is exposed to an antigen, there occurs activation of T lymphocytes. Therefore, the active T cells form component of cell mediated immune system and therefore it forms a part of delayed type of hypersensitivity. Option 3 says NK cells. So, NK cells they stand for the term natural killer cells. So, what do you mean by natural killer cells? So, is it one among the humoral and cell mediated response? No, it is because the lymphocytes are basically classified into T and B lymphocytes and this is based on the surface markers present on the two different types of cells that is the B lymphocytes will have immunoglobulins on their surfaces whereas T lymphocytes will have CD3 that is a cluster of differentiation will be found on the surfaces and specifically it is CD3 predominantly found on the surface of T cells whereas there are some group of cells about 10 to 15 percentage of cells do not come under either category they cannot be categorized as T lymphocytes or B lymphocytes because they do not have such surface markers similar to these cells therefore they are called as null cells and there are three different types of null cells one is the natural killer cells another was antibody dependent cytotoxic cells and the third group is lymphokine activated killer cells and this null cell is also known as large granular lymphocytes based on the morphology of these cells. And therefore, natural killer cells, they are nothing but a part of null cells. And these natural killer cells, they are highly cytotoxic to the target cells they attach to. So, this natural killer cells, they form a part of innate immunity because they are not antibody dependent. They are not even MHC restricted. Therefore, they come under a part or a component of innate immunity and because of its cytotoxic activity on various cells uh, such as on virus or the tumor cells, this NK cells, they have a role in type 2 hypersensitivity reactions and not in type 4. Therefore, we can eliminate option 3. And option 4 says plasma cells. The B cells after antigenic exposure they form the plasma cells which are cloned to produce specific type of immunoglobulin. Therefore, plasma cells are concerned with production of antibodies in the form of immunoglobulins and plasma cells are a form of B lymphocytes. Therefore, option 1 and 4 are related to one another and they both form components of humoral immunity which are involved in immediate type of hypersensitivity either type 1, 2 or 3.
Therefore, out of the four given options, the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, that is a delayed type of hypersensitivity or cell mediated hypersensitivity reaction is mediated by involvement of the T lymphocytes. Therefore, option 2 active T cells is the right answer here.